check one two one two. It's that Jack Talk podcast. You know, check check. Nah, we can't hear that shit back. They gonna hear it, man. I <laughs> all right, all right. You already know, man. It's Thursday night. It's that Jack Talk podcast. I'm gonna let my brothers introduce themselves real quick. You already know, man. It's Jack will just cause AWD approved. What happened with Jack with Fitness? Jack's a flat teen spent, so it don't make sense. Yeah, this is sweet. You know who it is. It's your boy T in the building. I'm back again. Alright, you know, we gonna um start it off, but first we're gonna have a moment of silence. The HBO boxing. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Yo, straight up and down, man. We just gonna go right in. You know, HBO boxing. After 45 years, they call on their quits. Good riddance. You know, um, night night. Y'all, uh, you know, y'all bet it, bet it wrong, man. Al came to y'all with the plan years ago with the PBC. The PBC is rising. You know, you got the Zone app now. You got. Bob Arum, they want the ESPN with top rank. You got Golden Boy with Facebook. You know, you guys, you, you bet it wrong, man. And um, it caught up to you, you know. It's, it's a sad day, 45 years, you know, rest in peace, man. You guys want to uh, elaborate on that or anything? I, I think yeah. that, you know, you know, HBO, you know, Jim Lampley, he's he always been looking for that great white fighter, the great white oak. Yeah, and, and they um, put a lot of investment in uh, in Triple G and Golovkin and, and the pressure and, yeah, the the so well, so and well. then it failed on them. So once the major who they was blowing up, they only had two fighters. They was blowing up, so everybody else was pulling away. So, it wasn't. They wasn't getting the same. I um, love the little guys was fighting. There I mean, you go. see you know, that's part of what happened. The bias, I mean, all the bias commentary got everybody sick, man. And yeah. Going, going up to him, man. Al Heyman came to them years ago, but they didn't buy into the PBC. Yeah. I bet you wish you bought that stock now. You know, it is what it is. Yeah, definitely. You know, they, they've been matchmaking for so many years, so they, they thought that they didn't need, you know, other fighters, you know. And it just backfired on them, you know. You yep. need more than two fighters, though. You get, Cherry picking match, man. You get you yeah. get comfortable in your ways, and uh, sometimes you just don't change with time. This is a prime example of that. Yeah. Uh, we just had a uh, we just had a big fight over the week, and we're gonna go right into that, man. Anthony Joshua, he defended his title. Quite frankly, you know, I told him he was coming for his head today, man, and we are. The brother was stiff. He was moving very robotic out there. He got rocked in the first round. And truthfully, it wasn't impressive to me. I was just about to say, I was not impressed. It wasn't no head movement, no feet movement. All I seen was a jab. It was a jab fest. He was like a both game plan was kind of weak from both fighters. That, that first round was rough for him, too. That, uppercut, that right uppercut left hook. He, 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 yeah. he wasn't good, man. Basically, he was, he, was looking like a, he was looking like a stiff weightlifter out there, you know, like... You, right. you can tell the brothers uh, he he's a, he's a weightlifter. He he's not a big calisthenic dude because he's stiff. You know he he put me to mind of you know a throwback fighter go way back, but but he poor big kid named Frank Bruno. Yeah. They, you same, know same, no same. no athleticism no no nothing. They just you know a hard fighter, punch hard, but. They don't have no athleticism. Yeah, you know, same, 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 yeah, they the same turkey and cheese sandwich without the mayo. <laughs> They're very dry. But I, like I was saying about them, if he would have took them shots that he took from old boy in that first round from Deontay Wilder, his head is coming off. Yeah, if a man was throwing some heat in the beginning. Deontay yeah. Wilder doesn't lose his power. I can't wait to see them line it up if they do line it up. He said April 13th, he told his people. That's what he said. Yeah, he gave they him say, the they day for that. He was two years now. Yeah, no, no, he told him in, uh, in the audience. So I know he's yeah, not going to run from that. They also got a poll going on right now that, that he wants his fans, you know, to, to, to see who he, who they, they want him to fight. And you know they have Deontay Wilder, number one, Fury two, and then and then um, 
Dillian Wade was three. Wow. Yeah, well, he was not Dillian Wade. I don't, don't want to see that. He already beat that already. Shit, well, so he know they, they, he know the pressure is Deontay Wilder. Mm -hmm. And he said he's going to be, it's April, he gave a date, April 13th. Yeah, but he did that this year, too. And um, we seen what happened with that. They, they always, Eddie Hearns, that's Eddie Hearns' game. He always, <laughs> he always gives a date. Don't a date. <laughs> oh, oh, he always says, "Oh, it's this guy." Like he, he you know, he's a, he's a good smoke screen guy. He, he plays you know, that smoke screen. You know, Eddie, Eddie, Eddie. You know what it is with Eddie? I think that when he know he got a fighter that is is is, is good, good, is good. Like, you know what I mean? That he knows that is ready to pull. But I think he feels some type of way with the Anthony Joshua. I don't think that he feels that. Anthony Joshua, he looked 